Hi, in this video we are going to look at the uh, third part of question 22 from the 2018 Software Design and Development HSC exam. Uh, so in the first part of this question we had to do a desk check to test the algorithm uh, in order to identify any problems uh, in the code. There was a logic error um, that did not produce the expected result. So we identified in previous in a previous video that there was an infinite loop in this algorithm. That was for part A of this question. Uh, in the previous video we looked at part B and we looked at how uh, breakpoints and single line stepping could be used to confirm to locate and confirm the source of the error. In this video we're going to look at part C of this question where we need to modify the algorithm so that it always produces the correct result. Uh, and we may refer to line numbers in the response. Okay, so just a quick overview of this algorithm again, but uh, I'd recommend you watch the previous two videos on this question. Basically, this is a, a function called substring that has three parameters, name, start, and finish. So it takes a, a string name and then it re returns the portion of name from position start to position finish inclusive. And if the value of finish is greater than the length of name, then substring continues from the beginning of name. Have a couple of examples there, and then we have our algorithm. So in the uh, desk check, we identified there was an infinite loop because basically we, the problem we have here is that if start is greater than len, this is on line 70, if start is greater than len, which is the length of the string, it's going to set start back to one. And that's important for uh, basically um, where if finish is greater than the length of the name, it, it needs to continue from the beginning of the name. So for example, here with uh, taking Barry as name and getting characters three to seven, it's going to get the third, fourth, and fifth characters, R, R, and Y. And then it's going to go back to the start of the name Barry and get two more characters, B and A, so six and seven. All right, so we do need lines 70 and 80, but the problem is that when start is set back to one, the while loop repeats, uh, the while loop, an iteration of the while loop will end and it will go back to line 40 and check the condition on line 40 uh, is start less than or equal to finish, which will be true because start has been reset to one. So what this causes is an infinite loop where it just constantly, at once it reaches the end of the string, uh, once, so once start is greater than len, it's going to set start to one, which means that the while loop will keep repeating because start is always going to be less than or equal to finish. And that's an infinite loop. So there are some changes that we can make to this code. We're going to modify the algorithm so it always produces the expected results. And basically what we need is a variable that counts uh, the number of characters that we're getting. All right, the number of characters that we need to extract from this uh, string. And then we need to change the condition of the while loop. So uh, basically while the number of characters that we're getting is greater than zero or we'll repeat the code in the loop, but at the end of each iteration of the loop, it's going to take one off from the number of characters to uh, extract because every iteration of the loop will, will take one character and add it to the end of result. So there's one less uh, character to, to get. Okay, so online, uh, on line uh, 20, at the start of the uh, algorithm, we set length to number of characters in name. We're going to add another variable after this line. So I'm just going to draw an arrow here. And so after line 20, we're going to add a new line where we create a variable that's going to store the number of characters, right? So we can just say set, give this a name, num chars, the number of characters, two. And then basically what we're going to do is um, deduct start from finish. So we'll say finish minus start and then add one on. So finish minus start 
plus 1. Okay, so in this example here, uh, let's have a look at the second example here, substring Barry 3 and 7. Finish is 7 and start is 3. So we'll take 7 minus 3, which is 4, and then we're going to add 1 on, which is 5. So that means we need to get 5 characters from this string, R-R-Y-B-A, that's 5 characters. Okay. And then every time this loop runs, we're going to check is the number of characters or num chars greater than zero and um, run the loop if that's true. And at the end of each loop, we're going to take one off from number of characters. So eventually it will get to zero once we've extracted all the characters and the loop will end. So now the next thing that we can do is change the while loop condition. Currently we have while start is less than or equal to finish. And this is what's causing the infinite loop because that condition is always evaluating to true. So let's remove that. Okay, and let's instead, let's cross that out and we'll replace it with this line of code instead. While numchars, is greater than zero. Okay, and then at the end of the while loop, so just in here, um, so just on the line before end while, we can add another line where we subtract one from numchars. So we can just say numchars equals numchars minus one, or just write it out like this. So subtract, subtract one from the numchars variable and uh, that will fix the algorithm. So basically what we're doing is creating a new variable called numchars, uh, which gets finish and start variables and subtract start from finish and then adds one on. So basically what we're finding is the length of the characters that we need to extract from the uh, from name. So the portion of name that we're going to be extracting and returning in the result variable. Okay. Uh, so then once we've done that, we can change our while loop condition to just ensure that it only runs while numchars is greater than zero. All right. So while there are still characters left to extract uh, from the portion of name that we want. Okay, and then lastly, every time the while loop repeats, it's going to, at the end of each iteration, subtract one from numchars so that we have a line of code that will eventually cause this while loop condition to evaluate to false. So eventually um, numchars will reach zero and that while loop will evaluate to false. That's pretty much the uh, sample answer that's provided uh, for this question. It's very similar to the sample answer. So. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you find this a little bit confusing or anything you're not sure about, make sure you go back and watch the videos on question 22, part A and part B, as they explain the algorithm in detail and um, the cause of the infinite loop. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.